Hey Greedy 3D ears, welcome to today's episode. Now yeah, I've got this Wash and Cure station, you may have the same, you may have similar, but I'm going to show you today how to make it more efficient when it's curing using some tin foil, some cardboard and some bits and bobs you're going to have lying around. Oh, it's going to be exciting, stay tuned. <music> You're going to need a few essentials, some cardboard, some scissors, a ruler and of course a greedy 3D print and paint mug, an absolute essential to do any work at all. And once you've got your bits and bobs lined up and don't forget your tin foil, just measure the top of your wash and cure station. And just remember it's curved and also remember you've just got to allow a little bit of a measurement there off just so that the foil wraps around it you don't want it so tight you can't get it in just measure it with your ruler and use some cardboard just to give it a little bit of rigidity and once you're happy with the measurement take a scalpel or your scissors and just cut along the lines to get the size you need now as i say a lot of the washing cure stations the corners are curved so when you measure the outside the inside might just be a little bit different and once you've cut your cardboard out just so that you know it's the right size before you start sticking all your tin foil on it. Just pop it on the inside and just make sure that it fits nice and snugly. Now there's got to be a little bit of a space around the side for the foil of course but when you're happy that it fits and there's a little bit of a gap around the edges of it and you can trim it to how you need. Next stage is to get your foil and wrap it up. Now foil tends to come a shiny side and a duller side and we want the shiny side on the outside because that's what's going to reflect those lovely UV rays. So all I'm going to do is wrap the cardboard up in tin foil. It tends to hold its form reasonably well. Now if you want to glue it down that's absolutely fine. If you don't want to glue it down don't bother but just cut the foil to size and wrap it around your cardboard. And as I say, the cardboard gives it a little bit of stability and the foil does a great job at reflecting those UV rays. What I do now is I just flatten it, give it a real good rub across a flat surface just to smooth it out as best I can. And it is as simple as that, you've made a reflective side. And that's how shiny it is. Now the next step is optional, you do not need to do this but I like to put a few dots of glue on just to stick it into the top. I understand if you don't want to put glue on and if you wedge it in nice and tight you might not have to but it's just my preference to put a little bit of glue on just to secure it into place. Again an optional stage. And once it's in there we go so the top is well and truly reflected. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the sides. Now I'm only going to do three sides. I'm going to leave one side open and the reason for that will become apparent a little bit later on. But again, I'm just cutting it to size. I'm going to make sure it fits, wrap it in some tin foil, and away we go. Second piece in. Easy peasy. Now I'm using for the third piece, I'm going to use some Amazon packaging, which is another great thing. It's almost cut to size, but not quite. So same process again until you've got three sides covered. Now I leave the front uncovered and again, we'll discuss why a little bit later on. But there's three sides and the top done. And almost last but not least, take the, the base that you pop your models on, just draw around it. Take your trusty scissors and cut it out. And then get some tin foil around it. going to reflect the rays down and up again all around your model. It's going to make things a little bit easier for curing and I'm just going to put a tiny dollop of glue on it to hold it in place. Again optional you don't need to but I just don't want it moving anywhere and I can always take it off fairly easily and change the foil if I want to. 
so we're going to move across now to the man cave and there it is in situ now when you think that there's two functions to a wash and cure station and one of them will be cleaning if you cover all four sides firstly you can't see inside at all and secondly it's a little bit tight and snug around the wash station so leaving one side free will allow it to go in and out easily and also will allow you to see what's going on through the wash and cure station. Now what I tend to do when I'm washing is I have the pla I have the visible side going forward as it just allows me to see the cleaning process make sure everything's working fine but when I come to do the actual curing I will pop the curing plate on Take the lid and just turn it around 180 degrees. So I now know that I've got tin foil at the front and that will reflect the rays that are coming from the back to the front from the UV light and it will give me some more UV goodness over my models. And I've just turned it around again just so you can see the actual plate turning around inside there. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the Patreon. Like, share, comment and I'll see you next time. Thank you.